I don't know if it's my favorite drink, but it's like definitely in the top like three drinks. It's really just a flip with some cream. So I do this like blender recipe where I use a blender to mix uh, the eggnog and it's been really popular. Um, you know, it's like, it's in the New York Times cookbook now, which is really cool. Um, I didn't really think that it was a, um, some sort of innovative technique at the time. I just wanted to like make a bunch of eggnog, right? And you could use a whisk, but it works really well in a blender. And, you know, the, the only thing to say about the blender is you can't use like a really high powered professional blender because it's going to scramble the eggs. I just start by cracking in a couple of eggs and then turning it on to low speed just to get those going, you know, get them beaten. Um, you know, we don't want to make a big frothy mess. We just want to make sure that they're uniform, break up all those egg whites, you know, and make it just, just a, a perfectly uniform kind of liquid. And then I have three ounces of um, sugar. I'm using uh, super fine sugar, you know, like bar sugar, and just really slowly, as the blender's going, just adding the sugar so that it's getting whipped into the um, egg mixture and dissolving. We're doing the eggnog that we serve at Clyde Common, which is uh, uh, a tequila and sherry eggnog, and it, which sounds a little uh, unorthodox to people, but you know, I mean, brand, brandy and sherry, uh, you know, that's a classic kind of eggnog combination, and, and tequila is nothing more than, you know, basically agave brandy. Um, so we use Añejo tequila, and, and we're gonna take, uh, you know, two ounces of Añejo tequila and slowly add that in. Just, I mean, the key to this is just adding things slowly to the mix so that you're not making a mess, basically. <laughs> you got a blender running with no top on. Next, I'm just gonna add two and a half ounces of uh, Amontillado sherry. This is a really dry, nutty sherry. And then we're gonna add uh, some whole milk. I like to put the whole milk in first, get that incorporated, and then kind of do the heavy cream last so that it doesn't like whip and expand in there. So we'll add, the, we'll add our, our whole milk first, really slowly. And then, um, you know, as a final touch, we're gonna add our uh, heavy cream. And then at this point, you're done, mostly done. It's still, you know, it's not as cold as I think it should be or could be. So I pop it in the fridge for a little while. You know, if I'm gonna go to a holiday party or something, I'll do this, um, you know, hours beforehand, if not a day or two beforehand. Uh, and pop it in the fridge and really like let the flavors combine um, and let the mixture get cold and then when when uh, when it's time to serve it I mean really all you have to do is, is pour it into a nice little I, I get these little punch glasses from like Goodwill I mean they're like they're just like 49 cents a piece you know they're really cheap get a set of those and keep them chilled of course because we're gonna put a cold drink into a nice cold glass and uh, fill it with our, our chilled eggnog and then just grab a microplane and grate some, uh, some fresh nutmeg right over the top, just a little bit. And this is, this is a good time, you know, to maybe put a little extra effort into it and, and grate in kind of a nice, nice way. I like to, to sort of grate it really fine in the very center. I think it just looks nicer than like a sort of sloppy dusting all over the entire glass. But you know, whatever you like. And then, um, and that's it. And it's so good. It's, uh, you know, it's, it's strong. It's a little bit sweet. It's, uh, it's not super thick. You know, this is a very kind of light style. It really gets to the essence of what eggnog should be, you know, or was. Uh, it's got some nuttiness from the Montiato Sherry and it's, it's just, it's beautiful. It's, it's eggnog.